So it's lovely to speak to you, SJ. Thank you for taking the time. Of course. I'm a big Marvel fan, and it goes without saying that in this film, everyone is great, particularly Dakota. But I am curious, did you ever consider casting an older Madam Web and heading down that comic accurate route and trying to build a story around that version of the character? Um, no, I mean, the script came to me when she was all in her 30s, so she hmm. was already young, and I thought it was quite interesting to see that dynamic between sort of teenagers and someone in their 30s because they're sort of close together in age but there's such a vast void between you and sort yeah. of like how they see the world now I certainly know how I think about how I well I'm told I'm vintage we're set in 2003 and somebody <laughs> said that's vintage and I was like is it um so you know I think that the, that that gap was really interesting to explore whereas if it's much older that's a very different dynamic and I felt there was more richness to come out of um the closer age gap yeah, for sure. And, you know, Julia, Anya and Matty's costumes, all fantastic. And I'm curious what kind of process it was to find the right looks for, for those characters, given how different they've looked over the years on the page. Simply, you hire Nyla Dixon. She is the most extraordinary costume designer. She comes from a place of character and she um, really thinks about who they are, who they want to be or who, how they'd like to be portrayed. And I think that's the balance of what we got out of those looks. You know, they wanted to be confident and they wanted to be, but there was something sort of pulling them back. And, and that's where Nyla's absolutely brilliant. And then obviously how that translated for them as regular teenagers yeah. to into their potential selves in the future. Yeah, maybe a strange question, but as comic nerds, we sometimes focus on some odd things. And okay. this, of course, no lenses in Julia's Spider-Woman mask. Was there a particular creative reason for that? I think it looks great. It's just one of those things I know a lot of fans have been curious about. Oh, really? Interesting. Mm. Well, we looked at it in the... in the in They're very... It's so funny because as a comic book nerd, if I'm going <laughs> to call you that, you'll know there's often different iterations throughout yeah. the comics, you know, so obviously there were very different iterations of Madame Web, you know, um, and, and many artists take on all the characters, right? Course, so they yeah. change and they evolve in each way. So I guess what we did is we really paid attention and looked across the board at all of them and then found what we thought design worked best, you know, and then what also works with our actors as well. So it's yeah. about homaging and obviously honouring the comics because it's the foundation from which we all leap. We wouldn't be here if we didn't have these amazing comics and these brilliant writers and these brilliant illustrators who bring it to life. Um, and then we sort of use that as our foundation and then sort of just try and sort of enhance it and bring it to life for the cinema. Yeah, well, I think it came together perfectly. And I think as I soon as so. fans see it, they'll agree. And that fantastic scene in the diner, I have to ask you about set to Britney Spears and Toxic. Yes. What was the thought process behind that song and, and just the way the sequence came together using it? Well, credit where it's due, that was in the script when I got it. So it was already wow. there. But I, what I love the idea about that sequence is it was kind of, well, I can't say too much actually. I was, I'm literally about to trap myself into a spoiler, which I don't want to do because <laughs> I want everyone to go and get excited. But I do think, look, it's a great track anyway. It's so of the time. Um, it sort of, um, I think it encapsulates the energy of the three, the three yeah. girls at the time that really, really worked. And obviously the song itself has another meaning when you know what happens in the scene. Yeah, of course. And there's some great teases about the future, which I won't get into because yep. of spoilers. But I'm curious, was Spider-Man ever considered for the film in any way, whether it was a flash forward to the future or a direct reference to him? Was there any... any version of the film where you had something Spider-Man related? Well, I think, you know, I concentrated on the fact that it was called Madame Web, and I was very yeah. excited about the fact that we had, like, you know, a really strong, brilliant female superhero at the fore, and, you know, and what I was most excited about was the sort of the clairvoyance and the fact that that hadn't been done before. There's been many versions of many superheroes and, and those uh, particular skills, but hers, I think, deserved its own sort of story to be told. Yeah, that's fair. And I, th I think, I suppose a lot of fans will be thinking with it set in 2003, that could kind of work with Tom Holland's Spider-Man, given the age. So always something for the future to think about. If I had clairvoyance, I could see into it. <laughs> that's a great answer. And Ezekiel, one of my favourite characters from the comics. Oh, yeah? So what, what were you excited to explore with him as a villain? Because I know in the comics he starts off a bit more well, heroic, and then it's just later we learn He's that, an ambiguous but... villain, isn't yes, he? Yes, And that's good. what I loved about yeah. him. I think there are um, two sides to everything, and I think not everybody just comes out born evil or good or and we're multifaceted aren't we as people and so that to me was really exciting to know that in the comics he did have this balance and his journey in the comics kind of it's it's both light and dark isn't it and yeah. he's self-serving but then also also self-sacrificing in many ways and and so I thought that that was a really interesting sort of foundation and Taha was just so brilliant at embodying yeah. that and sort of playing that and within all of our conversations it was about finding the truth and the nuance of that in the character to make sure that it wasn't just I'm the bad guy you know that there was this level of ambiguity 
Yeah. And of course, talking comic books, you're, you, you know where you're around comic books. So having done The Defenders and Jessica Jones launched those series. And they've just made those canon now for Marvel Cinematic Universe. So how do you feel about that? And would you ever like to return to that world? Because oh, well, that's amazing. I mean, I have to say, I, I, it was my, you know, introduction into comics was Jessica Jones. And I'd read mm. the script and I'd never actually read Alias. And, uh-huh. and I got the, 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 the big tune that was Alias. And I, I loved it. I literally read it and I thought this is one of the most clever, brilliant, beautiful storytelling you know, I've seen it in a long time, and, and the, you know, the way that the characters are portrayed, the framing, the use of kind of cinematic angles in a comic book, you know, and the brevity of storytelling in terms of the dialogue, the narration, and actually getting to the point of what somebody says, what a character really thinks and means in that moment. I thought that was really, that really sort of like, you know, sparked my interest. And of course, so thrilled to know that they're canon, and, you know, Jessica, of course, being my first, I'll always have a special place for her. Oh, amazing, of course mentioning Kristen and obviously Dakota did you find much similarities with working with both of them given that their characters I think both start off quite abrasive and then we see a more heroic side as as time passes yeah definitely I mean I guess you know they're both they're both directed by me so there's probably elements of me in there as well you know that I'm trying to 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 get but you know they're both such brilliant actors in their own way Kristen's just so you know she was effortlessly Jessica the same way that I think Dakota's effortlessly Madame Webb so I feel very lucky to have worked with them both yeah, and when it comes to the three younger Spider Women in this film, I think everyone's going to have a favourite. I think mine was Sydney's Spider Woman, being that classic character. Would you like to launch any spin offs with those specific characters, or would you prefer to maybe return to Madam Web and maybe do a team up project? Oh, I don't know. I finished the movie sort of yesterday morning, so I am wow. so at the. Uh, I, we, we really were to the wire. So I am very much looking forward to a rest before I think about what's next or anything else. But they're all such brilliant, amazing actors. I think all the characters, because of that great plethora and wealth of character in the comics you know yeah. they could go anywhere and just one spoilery question which i'm going to save for down the line okay ben and mary parker of course in this film i think is a great surprise for fans so what was your thought process with including them and is that a plot thread you'd maybe like to revisit down the line um i think again madam webb was born in the amazing spider-man comics do you know what I mean? Mm. There isn't a Madam Web comic yet, so although I think there probably there should, should be. be. There should be, yes. right? I think we should, yeah, <laughs> let's start petitioning for a Madam Web comic. I think that would be amazing. But, you know, I think it's an, it's an homage and a nod of respect to where she's come from. Yeah, I thought it was great. But I thought it was great to really see a focus on Madam Web. And it's obviously exciting for you to have a female-led project like this. So congratulations on the film, Thank SJ. you very much. Thank you so much for taking the time thank to talk Thank you. Today. So nice to meet you. You too. Thank, thank you. Thank you.